Let's show you how I use these pictures in class today to represent something called micro and macro evolution. This activity started out with a picture I drew of Triceratops. I did my best. I gave groups in my classes this sheet and a marker. These groups went to a study hall and had students look at the image for 10 seconds and try to replicate it as best as they could. And you can see what that first generation looks like. Now, of course, these images aren't going to be perfect, but this represents microevolution or small changes over short periods of time. For the next drawing, they wouldn't get the original image. They'd be given the replica and they would have to draw from the previous image. And as you can see, this Triceratops drastically changed over long periods of time. These larger changes occurring over long periods of time is macroevolution. For one of the lineages, I actually had a second class come in and you can see what it looks like from there. You can see by the end that our organism looks very different from the original. That's because what you're looking at here is macroevolution, not micro. Macroevolution is the larger changes over larger periods of time, or speciation. Now, to be honest, I really don't like these terms because micro and macroevolution really are the same thing, just looking at different time periods. But I really think this is a great activity for the students to understand how small changes over long periods of time can really change a species.